Father heartbroken tonight after his teenage son was shot and killed in Hayward, and now he wants answers. He wants justice. Now, our crime reporter Henry Lee joining us now live in the newsroom after talking with the man about his heartbreaking loss here. Henry. Yeah, Mike and Heather, he was only 15 years old, a high school student who liked sports and wanted to go to college. But those dreams are no longer, and Hayward police are looking for his killer. It's hard to sleep. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't been working. I haven't done anything. I, it's, I can't. Brandon Fank is struggling to cope after his 15-year-old son, Dominique Fank, was shot and killed in Hayward. He's mourning a young life loss, one full of potential. He, he wants to play sports. He was on the football teams and basketball. He played everything. And he's already in, in music. He already made videos. Fank says his son was robbed, pistol whipped, and shot and killed at a girlfriend's home where four adults and many other teenagers were present. I mean, yeah, I thought adults would be able to, you know, step ahead and wouldn't let anything like that happen. I know I wouldn't let anything happen in my house. The shooting happened at a home on 2nd Street near Sylvan Glen Court at about 2 in the morning on Wednesday. Fank's son, known as Damo, was killed and a 13-year-old boy was shot and wounded. Hayward police have not reported any arrests. I've learned investigators are looking into whether the shooting was gang-related. Fank says his son was not in a gang. He knew some people that might have did some type of gang affiliation. Dominic had his whole life ahead of him. He would have been a junior this fall at John Sweat High School in Crockett, where he played football. He wanted to be a barber as a side job. He loved his twin sister. She's not staying with me now. She's calling me a couple of days in the middle of the night, crying, talking about her twin. So I just try to let it go one day at a time. Fank wants whoever is responsible to be arrested. Hopefully. They have justice. I mean, that's what I, I want Damo to know that uh, he could have did anything he wanted to do. Now, a day after Dominique was killed, two other teenagers were shot at Mission Industrial in Hayward. One of them, who's 18, is on life support. Hayward police say the two incidents do not appear to be related and are asking anyone with information in either case to come forward. Mike. Henry Lee, live tonight in the newsroom. Henry, thank you.